Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. It's actually Wednesday. I am doing this a little bit early because I'm going to the Like to Know It conference early Saturday morning. So I wanted to get this done and get it ready for you guys. And for some reason, my microphone is not working. It's not sticking on through this sweater. So I hope that you can hear me. I'm going to try to stay close to it. So let's get this party started. Let's start with my outfit because I've got this kind of on my mind. You guys have seen me wear these before. It's the little free people inspired outfits that I got on Anthropology. I'm going to turn this so you can see over here. And as I have worn these, I have a few tips for you to give them the cool girl look because it is a slippery slope into the Golden Girls look if you don't be careful. If you don't accessorize right, and just wear these just right. You don't want to look, I think even Alfred Dunner has the matching sets and everything. So you have to be good. You don't want to look like a giant toddler. I have felt that way before. Or like a little bunny. These are things that I have felt. So I want to share with you how to not feel that way. So the one I have on today is, and I'm gonna just carry this with me, is this little cream colored one. And the beauty of this particular set is that, see how it has two different textures? So it has like the cable knit up here, but a little bit more of the smooth down there. And I love that the bottom has that little tuck in the front and that little gather at the bottom. To me, that's what just makes this outfit. So today I have it on with my newest, latest, and greatest Javianas. I love these. I think they're so pretty on the feet. I'm a Javiana girl, no matter what, and I've loved these. But if I was wanting to style this the best way to kind of make it look the best, these are the Amazon Bottega inspired heels that honestly, after I got these, I don't even know if I'll ever buy these in the regular Bottega again. And to me, now you have a much more stylish with it outfit just from these shoes. Now you can see me now completely. <laughs> But doesn't, you know, this look a lot more stylish? I noticed when I wore the black one, I can't remember what trip I was going on, and I had on some comfy shoes. I think it was my Dior slides. I just didn't feel as good, and I was missing something. And it was either a heel or... I'm not saying that you have to wear heels all the time, so let's do another look. Say I want to wear my flip-flops, but I want to give this a little bit of youth and edge. I would throw on a baseball cap. These are my favorite. I have tried the polo. I've tried all the other ones. These fit my head the best. And I just got this red one. The white one, I think the LA one, I have worn to death at the pool. It's so dirty, I need to wash it. But I love these. I love this red one. And I think it just adds that perfect little pop to make your outfit look more sporty and youthful and trendy and the cool girl vibe more than golden girls. <laughs> That's what I would say. While I'm standing up, let me try on these clothes. And this is gonna be hard to hold this, but we're gonna do it. The first thing I want to show you is this fabulous piece of clothing here. So good. This is going to sell out. It's actually from Zara. And I have a huge Zara try-on haul coming up. I wanted to keep this for that haul, but it's going to sell out. And I want my girls to get it, not everybody else. So I did a little video yesterday with this, but I'll try it on for you right now. Isn't this magnificent? And I always love the way it looks with your hair tucked into it, but you don't have to do that. But to me, that's kind of like a more casual way. Like this is serious. This is, I'm not saying it's gonna keep you warm in snow, but it is a thick, nice faux fur. It's from the Stephen Mizell collection and it's some sizes are already sold out. I got the medium because I like to size up, but I think it's perfect. I would size up, but if you don't like it this oversized, get your normal size. But I just think it is gorgeous, gorgeous. The color scheme is phenomenal. And let me put these shoes back on. This is a look. It might not make sense to have on these open-toed shoes with a faux fur jacket, but it depends on where you are. But I love this. So I've just 
could not wait to show this to you. It's more of the silver and white tones, more than the beigey and brown tones. And all of mine are more of the beigey and brown. This is just gorgeous. Think about this for your Christmas parties, for your engagement parties, your New Year's Eve parties. If you're like me, think about this any day that you want to feel fabulous. It is just amazing to me. And then the next thing I want to share with you, and this fur gets everywhere, is I was watching Patricia Bright. Does anyone else love Patricia Bright? <laughs> I watched her so long ago and then a friend reminded me of her and I thought, gosh, I haven't seen her in so long. Well, I didn't realize that she had gotten so successful like on Instagram and TikTok and everything else that she wasn't making quite as many videos, but I caught up with some of her videos and one of them was New York Fashion Week this year, 2023. And she was featuring some things from the Pretty Little Thing Naomi Campbell collection. So I ordered three things. I ordered a cream colored dress that I will add down below. I've already returned it because John was doing that for me. It was very pretty, but if you have boobs, like anything past probably a B or a C, it was just gonna be a tough one. And I probably could have done boob tape or something like that. I never do that, I've never used boob tape. So I did send that back, but I kept the other two pieces and here they are. As you can see, it's really not a faux fur. It's kind of like a combination of a teddy coat. I keep wanting to say poodle, but it's got like these little fluffy things. Now I will say this is much less expensive than the one from Zara and it's a lesser quality. Like the inside is not quite as nice. It's not as heavy. It's just not quite as nice as the Zara one, but for the price, it is a fun coat. It is a Naomi Campbell exclusive. It reminds me of, <laughs> This is Portuguese water dog is coming to mind. That's probably not right, but it reminds me of like some kind of dog or something. Just really cool, really funky, not really a faux fur, but a really cool vibe. And it does have the pretty little thing and Naomi Campbell tag in it. I just love Naomi. She is my favorite, like I've said, my favorite badass and I just love her style. I even watched the video on YouTube about her creating this line with Pretty Little Thing. Everything she wears, especially her model off-duty looks, I love. She inspired me to buy some shoes that I'll show you. I haven't even got them yet, if that tells you anything. So this is the white faux fur oversized coat and I did get the medium. So this piece is a blazer and it is velvet. It has one button. I got the six, which usually four six is a small. So if you want it a little bit more oversized, I don't because with this type of blazer, I would wear something like a cami or something very, very fitted, like a bodysuit or something. To me, this is kind of dressy and it's got the really good shoulder pads. Again, this is from the Pretty Little Thing designed by Naomi Campbell collection. And I thought it was cute. It's not like monumental, but I think it's cool. And I'm looking forward to wearing this with like ripped up jeans or something like that, or maybe over a slip dress. I don't have anything I've got, like one with the velvet collar, but not a whole velvet one. So I decided to keep this one. And the next thing I wanted to share with you is this faux leather blazer. If you watched my H&M video, my try on haul, I'll put it up here. I told you I have been on a mission. I would love to find a genuine leather blazer just because they get worked in. I love the way the leather looks. I love the way it breathes. And I just feel like they're usually more comfortable, but this one is impressive. I ordered it from Revolve. It's House of Harlow. I did get a medium and I love it. I love these flap pockets. I just love everything about it. It's a little bit longer. Just wanted to tell you how soft it is. It's one of those blazers. This is the key. And usually this feeling, comes from designer blazers. It usually comes from the more expensive ones, but some blazers you put on and they feel okay and you wear them. This is one of those you put on and it just 
feels good. It just hangs well. I think it's because it's a little bit longer. I love the pronounced shoulder pads. That really helps us as we age because it makes us look taller, makes our posture look better. You know, we naturally start sloping over and shrinking. So I think this is a good thing. I know my mom is 73 and she loves like the t-shirts with shoulder pads and things like that. It really does give us that more statuesque look. I just love it. The buttons are pretty. And I think the fact that it's a little bit longer is going to make it a valuable piece because you could wear this with your leggings and cool boots and like some kind of cool layer underneath and maybe a big scarf and have a really, really cool outfit. Then throw on your baseball cap. Then those of you that have been here with me, boy, is this a blast from the past. Remember when I got these tops from Oliver, which is a boutique here in town? I can't remember if it's called the Otis or the Alex, but it's the thin, nice shirt that has the long little sleeve and it has the thumb hole. Well, I wore mine so much that I ended up getting rid of them when I cleaned out, it's probably when I was moving or something, and I missed it because in the winter, these are valuable tops under anything. Even if you're using it as a layering piece or like even under like the velvet blazer, when you need something that's kind of just streamlined but not really tight, it's not like a bodysuit. So I got the size small. I'm not sure what I had before. If I had to guess, it was probably medium. Definitely BC before carnivore. Love Love it, love it. This is one of those things like tank tops or something that when I go out of town, I can just throw in my suitcase and know that I have a good layering piece with me. The last piece is this little outfit from Amazon inspired by free people. And what makes these different than most of them that I see people showing is one of you wonderful girls out there sent me these links and these are more cotton than nylon, like the ones that a lot of people on Instagram are posting. These are actually a very good blend. Let's see, I mean, it feels, has that hearty feeling. And I got the medium, so it's 55 acrylic, but 45 cotton. And actually that is a pretty good blend because you're gonna be able to wash it and dry it almost all the way, if not all the way, and it's not going to fade as easy and it's not going to shrink. So with me, that sounds good. So it's just this little top and I do have the original Free People set and I don't think it's worth the difference. I really don't. I love little sets like this. Pretty soon, actually you guys let me know. I was thinking of doing like seven days of outfits or seven outfit ideas and doing one for like you moms that are taking your kids to school. I just got out of that a couple of years ago. So I know all about needing something to just throw on in the morning and take your kids to school or running out to the grocery store or lunch with friends or date night with your husband or family events, going to work. All of these things I may not be doing right now in my life, but I have done them. And I did work it out to where I liked what I was wearing and it was easy. I always do that. So let me know if you would like that video. And these, same thing, same principle with this outfit. I would put it with some cool shoes. I wouldn't put this with a ballerina flat. I would put it with something vibey or not even really a heel with this because the pants are a little bit more flowy and open. If I did wear this with sneakers, they would have to be just the perfect pair of sneakers. I like this with Birkenstocks or your big dad sandals or your chunky Uggs or something like that. I would go with the cool girl, chunky, fall, cozy vibe with this. So I think that's all the clothes. I wanted to just, I, this is not sponsored, but I just did a little Instagram deal with this company and I had never heard of it. It's Deepology and it's a Korean skincare brand. And they contacted me and I tell all skincare lines, I use Obagi and I'm not veering off from that. But if you have any good neck, eye, or body products, maybe there's something I'd like to try. So I ended up getting two eye masks, like eye patches, this one, and the one that is for overnight, an eye cream, 
an eye cream stick and a serum stick and I have loved it. What I've been doing is something different. You know how I'm always like trying to figure out my routine? I haven't used eye mask in a while and these are the caviar ones. So they're a little darker and they're the kind that just go right on. I do not have time to like lay around with an eye mask on and I don't want to do that when I'm going to bed. I was looking for how to work this in to my routine and get the benefits of it but not be inconvenienced. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? So what I've been doing is I've been in the mornings going downstairs, washing my face, doing my skincare, keeping these upstairs. Then I usually come back upstairs, let my skincare kind of soak in before I start putting on my makeup and doing some work on my computer for a little bit. I have been taking these and because they're kind of, you know, juicy when you first take them out, they will slide down. So what I've been doing is taking each one and putting it on the back of my hand, turning it over a few times, getting it where it's more sticky. Then I put it on my eye, take the next one out, put it on the other hand, then put it on my eye and letting them sit for a good 10 or 15 minutes. And I have been amazed at how much it seems to feel like it has tightened and smoothed out underneath my eyes. At first, the feeling was kind of unfamiliar. I was like, is this cooling? I couldn't really figure it out. And it just leaves like this little smooth layer that my makeup seems to go over beautifully. I have used these now for about a week and I've been loving it. So I know we do skincare things at different times, but I think that this is pretty good stuff. And if I have a code, I can't remember, but I'm sure I probably do. I haven't posted that yet. I will put it down below, but I just wanted to kind of bring it to your attention. It gets great reviews. Then for makeup this week, I have ordered some things. Today I'm using the Victoria Beckham like the chocolate brown liner. Thank you to all of you that sent me like her Instagram on how she does her eye. I actually used that technique in that H&M unboxing. I had done what she does. And today I didn't, I just kind of went with it. But I did order her signature eye palette. So I'll be getting that in soon. And then I ordered some more Barreto makeup and some other things that I'll probably show you next week. But M Cosmetics sent me their new lip, what do we call these? These little cards are just beautiful. Soft spoken lips. Look at that, how pretty it is. Their marketing is so good. So we have the color Flirt. I'll be honest with you, they looked all too dark for me, but let's see. Oh, they're kind of like the blurry ones. Aren't I glad that I swatched these? Well, hello. I just heard her purring and she snores. <laughs> she sleeps, I'll put a picture in here. She sleeps right on the floor or the sofa in front of my desk. It doesn't matter what bed I put out there, what blanket I put. She likes just to be on that rug or the sofa. And sometimes I can hear her snoring, breathing heavily. I think she could probably stand to lose some weight, but that is a tough thing to do when you have three cats. This is Wednesday, the darker color. And I'll be honest with you, even though it's a darker color, look how see-through it is. You can see my veins right through it. Both of those are very pretty. And then the last one is the lightest one. It's called Hush. That is gorgeous. Okay, I'm definitely gonna keep Hush. And I don't know, I'm gonna let my mom look at those other ones. Very, very pretty, great fall tones. And I always say one of my favorite palettes ever, ever is the M Cosmetics palette. And now I can't remember the name of it, but I will list it below. It is one of the best neutral to cool toned eyeshadow palettes I have. I take that all the time on vacation because I just know I can create any eye I want with that. So I am very partial to their makeup. So thank you to M Cosmetics for sending these to me. I wanted to show you my flip flops again. They're just so pretty. I've tried to take pictures of them so many times and it just doesn't show up how pretty they are. 
on your feet. That is about it. My jewelry for today, this is the Miranda Fry, little earrings, Jenny Bird, Jenny Bird, <laughs> Jenny Bird, Rolex, my nails, I get my nails done today. Look how bad they are. But does anyone else hate taking off dark polish? I hate it. So usually if I know I'm getting ready to get my nails done, I'm not getting gel because, whew, I cannot sit there that long with those tinfoil acetone things on. That was driving me nuts because I usually catch up with my Instagram and my emails and stuff when I'm getting a pedicure and they kept me in that tinfoil the whole time. And I was thinking, never again, never again. So I'm just gonna get a regular manicure and pedicure and I would rather them take this polish off because I don't like it getting my little pot all dirty and getting everywhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Was there anything else? I think that was it. I have so much stuff to show you. I have bought some bags, I have bought some shoes, and I have bought some clothes for the conference. My brain can't let me go there, so I don't know exactly what I'm wearing. I have to get all my work done this week and get this video done, and then I'm gonna start picking those things out. So when I get back, I'm gonna do a recap. I'm gonna take lots of good footage for you. I'm gonna take you with me and show you all my outfits, everybody else, and next week I'll start showing you like bags and shoes and stuff and then that way I can tell you too what I thought about them. So thanks for being here. I appreciate you all so much and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.